Guys, one of the hardest choices outside of choosing the right firearm for you is a good holster. I have boxes of holsters <laughs> and I've tried different ones. Sometimes I go back to older holsters. It's really about personal preference when it comes to a good holster. Recently, I was sent one of the Phobos APNs. Uh, this is a very modular system. Uh, it's really cool. You can do inside the waistband, outside the waistband. It's toolless as far as changing the configuration. Uh, and this was part of the Get Zone Father's Day gift guide. And we took kind of a quick look at it, but we're going to do a full review because I feel like that this is something that, you know, really could help, especially new gun owners. Now, I typically don't do a lot of holster reviews because, again, it's all about personal preference. But I think this is one that I think, you know, it's just got a lot of potential and especially for new gun owners or for seasoned gun owners for that matter. And the big thing is the price is really right. And I want to thank Phobos for sending the holsters, not only for the gift guide, but to give us an opportunity to do a review on this for you guys. First thing I want to do is make sure the gun is unloaded, magazine's empty, chamber's empty. Phobos, who has been making holsters since 1978, has introduced their APN. This is a very modular holster system. Uh, here we have it set up with a sweat guard in the back, which has ventilation holes, and yet in the center it's solid to keep your firearm protected. Also, it has a J-hook here, and we have a standout wing to be able to keep your firearm pushed up against your body to keep from printing. Now, this is a passive uh, retention holster, and so as we put it in, you hear the click. And so it locks in to the polymer holster. And then when you want to draw it, you just pull it and it releases, but yet it keeps that retention. And guys, it is solid. But now again, it is very modular. So if I want to take off the J-hook, and then I can take the optional belt clip, pop it in, and now I have that much more security onto my belt. Uh, also, I can take the standoff wing off, but this is your retention screw. So you can set the retention however you want to. But also, we can take this off, and we can take off our shirt guard. Now you'll notice these little locking points, and then you have slots in the holster. And so I can bring this around, clip it into place just like this. You can hear a satisfying snap. And now I have outside the waistband with a paddle that's going to give me a lot of security. Uh, and then we can take off the wing if we want to. Now this system is toolless to switch all these out, but if you want to take off your wing, just a regular Phillips head screwdriver, hit the retention screw and just pull this off. Of course, you want to reinsert your tension screw. And you can set this however you want to. Also, with the inside the waistband attachments, if we want to just loosen this up a little bit, we have five points to turn this to set the cant. And guys, these holsters are ambidextrous, so I can take it off this side, put it on the other side, and now I'm left-handed. The whole system fits that way. On the sweat guard, to make it ambidextrous, take it out and replace it, and make sure this little notch fits within the corresponding little section right here, and just closes in. Now I have it set up for inside the waistband, left-hand carry you can change this out at the range. I mean, it makes it so simple to do. So I have all my parts. I can really decide how I want to draw, how I want to use this. Here are the inside the waistband with this backing. It locks in, you can hear it click, and it's not coming out. I mean, it's got good retention. Uh, and then you have, of course, your standoff and you have your clip here. If I want, I can pull this clip off. And that just allows me to put another attachment on here. Plus, I can switch this around again just to make it ambidextrous. Now, to install this inside the waistband holster, uh, I like to go ahead and drop my belt, and I'll show you why. Being able to get this clip and your standoff as high as possible, because you really want this to be all the way up to the top. This gives it the ultimate in rigidity. And then we take our belt, put it over the loop, and then put our belt on. Take my firearm, slide it in. You hear that click. I love that. Now it's got enough retention, so when you pull it, it's gonna have some resistance, but you're able to get to it without too much trouble. And this really rides close to your stomach because of this standoff. Now with the paddle attached, just slides right in. I would take this standoff off if I was gonna wear it like this, but uh, didn't bring my screwdriver. Locks right in. 
One thing you want to make sure is you have a good solid belt and you know you really need to make it as tight as you can. That gives you a really stable platform on your belt. And of course you can loosen this up somewhat but if you do make sure you put some Loctite on it. And then when I want to take it off just pull it right off and again it's not going anywhere. Then I have my standard clip. If I want to go minimal, um, I can even take the standoff off, but I kind of, I really like it. So I put it in here, get my standoff in. The standoff just pushes the gun back against your stomach and keeps it out of the way, keeps it from printing. So here I have a clip over my belt. Again, it's got that good retention because it is the same holster. It's just a different clip setup. Of course, the great thing about this attachment is that I can put it on the other side. And now I can wear it on the outside of my belt. Again, I would take the standoff out. Very minimal little holster. And if I really want to, I can take this clip, bring it outside of my belt. And now I can just set it down. And then when I want to put it back on the outside of my belt, I don't have to loop the belt through it. Even though I showed you going through the belt, you don't have to. You can go straight like this. Now with it being a clip system, one thing that I would personally be concerned about is if somebody got a hold of your holster and they just ripped it off. Uh, I've tried to pull this off, but I mean, given enough force with those little clips, I mean, it can definitely be ripped off. I'm not gonna rip it off right here, but it's just something to consider. Now, if you're carrying it concealed, you have something over it, I'm not really worried about somebody pulling your holster off. What I am concerned about is if you're carrying this open carry. Could be an issue. But honestly, I mean, it's on there pretty solid. But um, that could be something to at least think about. Um, because those little clips, they're in there good, but uh, that's all that's holding this holster to your belt. With the inside the waistband configuration, there's just no way they're gonna be able to pull this holster off. Everything's reinforced behind the belt. So it's just one of those things you might wanna just consider. But uh, even with this clip, I mean, this is gonna hold very well and you have your belt. But definitely have a good solid belt and it needs to be something that is really rigid and tough. Uh, this is a DowTechForce.com bull leather belt, but also like Core Essentials as well. But you need something that's really solid. Now there's a number of different models that they make these for, and it's ever expanding. The system in itself starts out at about $36.99, and then as you add additional parts, or you can buy the complete package. And I believe it only runs about $44.99. That is on the Phobos website. Phobos has a lifetime warranty as well, so that gives you a lot of confidence. So guys, if you're a new gun owner, you're looking for a, a different type holster, you're not really sure what you want, I think this is a perfect holster for that. Being able to go straight to the range, you can change it out inside the waistband, outside the waistband, just see how you feel about it. Even if you're a seasoned shooter, this may give you just one of those options that you, know, you just seem to like. And I really like this system, I like the paddle, the belt clips, I can take the sweat guard off, it's got the wing, I mean it's got so many features. And Phobos makes actually 160 different type holsters. So if you don't like the APN, there's a lot of others that are on the Phobos.com website. And again, under $45 for the complete kit, and you could possibly find it market price somewhere else. So check out Phobos holsters at PhobosHolster.com. And again, we appreciate them sending this, but uh, I'm really liking this little holster. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. price is really right. Okay, that was all fuddled because I clipped it in there. Uh
uh, today we're That guy knows when I'm gonna start reviews. It's like he starts his car up. And guys, if you want something, <laughs> that sounds horrible, dude. Fix that muffler. <laughs> Some mufflers sound good, you know. I don't sound good.